Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Sarah Wooten. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Uh, I am here with All About Cats. The topic of this video is the truth about grain-free food. Let's dive in. Pretty much everybody I know has an opinion on this one way or another. Um, and so the reason why we made this video is because we wanted to bring to you some grounded, solid facts about grain-free food uh, that are really not either positive or negative, just so that you have the information that you need to make the best decisions for your cat. So they are exactly what they say. They don't have any grain in them. They don't have any oats, no rice, no corn, no wheat, and no barley. However, uh, just because a diet is grain-free doesn't mean that it's low in carbohydrates or it's carbohydrate-free. The fact is, anytime you see a dry kibble, the only way that kibble is sticking together is because it has some sort of carbohydrate in that. When you take grains, the ones that I mentioned, out of cat foods, then you still have to put a carb back in. Their carbohydrates are different. They are things like tapioca, peas, lentils, sweet potatoes. It's also not unheard of for a grain-free diet to actually be higher in carbohydrates than your traditional maintenance diet that has the regular old grains in it. So is there a scenario where a grain-free diet can actually help a cat? So there are some cases where a cat has food allergies, right? And they need to eat a food with an alternative carbohydrate source. However, that is very, very rare because most of the food allergies in cats and dogs, by the way, are allergies to protein sources. Chicken, beef, soy, dairy, all of those are much, much more common um, sources of allergies in cats. So the next question is, okay, well, you know, I understand the carbohydrates, I understand the carnivores, I understand in some of the cases where maybe a grain-free diet could help. Are grain-free diets ever dangerous to cats? Great question. So my quick question is, I don't think so. I think they are by and large safe for cats. Now for dogs, the jury is out on that. Um, in 2018, around there-ish, uh, they started noticing an increased incidence of dogs with dilated cardiomyopathy, which is our fancy doctor word for heart disease, in association with eating grain-free diets that were high in legumes. So the FDA has been investigating it. We still don't know entirely if there is a link between the good news is that same link has not been demonstrated in cats, so that's good. Um, but we don't really know how these cats are responding on a, like a micronutrient level to some of these alternative carbohydrate sources. Like, would a cat ever eat tapioca in the wild? And if so, what are they what benefit are they deriving from it or would they be eating sweet potatoes or would something they'd be eating eating sweet potatoes and it doesn't does it matter if the carbohydrate was processed in the gut of their prey before they eat it do you see there's a lot of questions right so only time will tell on that uh, but we do know how they do respond to some of the more mainstream grains that have been a staple of the human diet for eons corn, wheat, barley, oats, rice. We have more knowledge in those areas. So, we don't know. I don't think it's dangerous, but I also don't think that there's enough research into it to tell you that I am a huge proponent of grain-free diets. Make sense? The other thing that where a grain-free diet could be a problem for a cat is cats with diabetes or cats with kidney failure or cats just with sickness, right? So it's always best to check with your veterinarian if your cat does have a diagnosed sickness about the best foods that they need to be feeding and whether they would benefit from a therapeutic diet that's designed to help cats with that specific 
problem. So hopefully you learned something today that will help you to become a more educated consumer and a better advocate for your cat. If you like this video, leave me a like. Um, you could also leave me a comment about what you think about this topic, because I'm sure there are all kinds of opinions out there, right? Um, and if you like this content, go ahead and hit subscribe because I come back on a regular basis to deliver more health information to you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Sarah Wooten, and this is all about cats.